This is the Atlantic Ocean on Namibia's coastline, which is over 1,500 kilometers long. You can look out over the chilly waters and watch cormorants, surfers, pelicans, African fur seals, dolphins, and sometimes whales. It's clear, even from land, that our ocean is home to many different species. But there are so many more species that we can never see from land. Animals that spend their whole lives underwater and that play important roles in keeping the ocean healthy. Animals like sharks. Sharks are just one group within a bigger group of animals that scientists call chondrichthians, or sharks and their relatives. Most of the fish, like hake, kingclip, halyun, and cob, that Namibians know and eat, have skeletons made of bone. But chondrichthians, or sharks and their relatives, have skeletons made of flexible cartilage, the same stuff that gives your nose or your ears their shape and structure. That's why chondrichthians are known as cartilaginous fishes. There are a few different types of chondrichthians. First, they are the sharks. We all know what they look like, but they are sharks of very different shapes and sizes in Namibian waters. They range from the very huge to the very small. Basking sharks, which are the second biggest fish in the sea, can reach up to 12 meters in length. But don't worry, Basking sharks are gentle giants. They have tiny teeth and feed by filtering plankton, microscopic fish larva from the water. The great white shark, one of the ocean's most well-known predators, also lives off Namibia's coast. It can reach up to seven meters in length, although most of them are smaller. So imagine two or three adults lying end to end. That's the length of a fully grown great white shark. At the other end of the spectrum are the little sharks that live close to shore in Namibia's kelp forests. The dark shy shark is one of the smallest and gets its name from the fact that when it feels threatened, it curls up and hides its face behind its tail, as if it was shy. Shy sharks are really beautiful and only reach about 60 centimeters in length. They're also found only along the west coast of South Africa and the coast of Namibia. They don't live anywhere else in the world. Aside from sharks, there are two other groups of animals in the group scientists call chondrichthians. Skates and rays are very closely related to sharks, but they have flattened bodies that are round or diamond-shaped, whereas most sharks have torpedo-shaped bodies. Lots of different skates and rays live in Namibia's seas, including blue rays, spearnose skates, and the species which lives in our coastal waters, the common eagle ray. Guitarfish, which some Namibians call sand sharks, are very common in shallow coastal areas. The Kwanin, or Topna people, are Namibia's coastal tribe, and they used to hunt guitarfish with spears. Topna name for guitarfish is Orobe. One of the ways in which skates are different to rays is that rays give birth to live young, whereas skates produce egg cases, also known as mermaid purses, which they attach to the seabed. The little ones develop within these egg cases and then hatch back into the ocean. You might have seen these egg cases washed up on the beach where they're well disguised amongst the seaweed. Different sized and shaped egg cases come from different species of skate and some small sharks, like shy sharks, also produce egg cases. The last group of fishes that are also chondrichthians are the weird but wonderful chimeras, also called ghost sharks. Many people have never heard of them because they mostly live in the deep parts of the ocean. However, in Namibia, anglers often catch one type of chimera close to shore. It's called the St. Joseph shark or elephant fish. You can see why it's called an elephant fish. It has a long snout that looks a bit like the trunk of an elephant. There are 87 different types of sharks, skates, rays, and chimeras living off the oceans of Namibia. And there may be many more that we do not know about yet. 
Sharks have been given a bad reputation by humans over the years. Some people are afraid to get in the sea because they are scared of sharks. But in truth, many more sharks are killed every year by people than people killed by sharks. And because many shark species reproduce very slowly and don't produce lots of babies, many species have become endangered. Because of overfishing, certain species of shark and ray have disappeared completely in some countries. There are many reasons why we need sharks, skates, rays and chimeras in Namibian seas. Apex predators help maintain the balance in ecosystems by regulating the populations of their prey and help to maintain biodiversity. Biodiversity is the word used to describe all the many different forms of life in a place. When we talk about biodiversity in the ocean, we mean the huge number of different plants and animals, everything from seaweed and kelp to starfish, mussels, jellyfish, crabs and crayfish, edible fish, dolphins, seals, sharks, and much, much more. A biodiverse ocean is a healthy and strong one, and we rely on a healthy ocean in many ways. The healthy ocean provides good fish for us Namibians to eat and to sell. It also provides jobs and incomes for us Namibians. A healthy ocean and coast are also places we can use to relax, have fun, and spend time with friends and family. Without a healthy environment and ocean, there is no tourism industry. We have nothing to show our tourists, and we most certainly don't have happy animals to show our tourists either. Tourism is one of the biggest industries we have here in Namibia, and it employs thousands of people. Having a healthy ocean is crucial for the survival of our industry. Phytoplankton are tiny plant-like microorganisms. They produce massive amount of oxygen in the ocean and about half of all the oxygen in the atmosphere. When it comes to life in the ocean, it begins with phytoplankton. As primary producers, they produce food for shellfish such as oysters, mussels, abalones, and also zooplankton, tiny animal-like microorganisms. Zooplankton are consumed by fish larvae, baby fish, and they grow to be consumed by bigger fish such as sharks, by birds, and also by human beings. If you remove phytoplankton from the ocean, eventually the ocean will collapse. It is therefore imperative to take care of our ocean to maintain its health and its biodiversity for our generation and many more generations to come. We need healthy seas to ensure a continued supply of oxygen. So even if you live far inland, it is clear to see that our lives are linked to the ocean. Sharks and their relatives are an important part of the healthy ocean. And if we want all the benefits that a healthy ocean provides us with, such as jobs, fish to eat, and air to breathe, then we need to look after our sharks, skates, rays, and chimeras. There are many ways to ensure that our oceans stay healthy and that the sharks and their relatives in Namibia's waters don't disappear. Some types of fishing catch a lot of sharks, skates and rays accidentally. Namibia needs responsible fisheries that don't overfish sharks and rays. Some human activities modify the coastline and by doing so may damage or even destroy habitats where sharks and other marine animals live. Activities like seabed mining for things like phosphate pose a threat to marine habitats and marine life, including sharks and their relatives. We should protect our oceans and coastlines from destructive projects. Plastic from our lives in land often ends up in the ocean. We may not see it so often in Namibia, but ocean currents carry in discarded fishing gear and plastic from other coastlines. Many marine animals accidentally eat this plastic filling up their stomachs and causing them to starve. Every year we have to do thousands of rescues to catch seals entangled in fishing line, rope and packaging straps and it is extremely important that we help those seals. We should all try to use less plastic and always ensure that your rubbish goes into a bin with a lid so the wind can't blow it into the sea. 
And if you can't avoid using plastic, make sure it goes into a recycling bin when you're finished with it. If you like to go fishing and you catch a shark, skate, ray or chimera, be sure to handle it with care. Never pull these animals by their tails. You can injure them that way. For small sharks and skates and rays, try to remove the hook quickly and then carefully return the animal to the water. For larger animals, get help if you can. One person to hold the shark and the other to try to remove the hook. Keep the animal in the water if possible. They need to have their gills in water to be able to breathe. If you can't get the hook out after one minute, cut your line as close as possible to the hook and release the animal carefully into the ocean. Sharks and their relatives aren't so scary. What's scary is the thought of an ocean without any sharks. So let's come together as Namibians to learn more about our sharks, skates, rays and chimeras and to protect them. The health of our oceans and our own health and well-being depends upon it.